This woman is the strongest witch in the world today. However, now she is collared like a dog just because the one who caught her is the strongest hero, Wu Chen. Looking at Wu Chen's malicious smile, Lisha knew that she couldn't escape her fate. Staring at Wu Chen, she demanded a quick death. But Wu Chen lifted her arrogant face and said, I cannot bear to kill you, for I want to marry you. Upon hearing this, Lisha blushed with embarrassment. After all, she was the strongest witch who had killed countless people. How could she become the wife of a mere human? Looking at Lisha, who was shaking with anger, Wu Chen knew that he could not subdue her by conventional means. However, he was prepared for this. With a loud thud, Wu Chen pushed Lisha to the ground, holding a red potion in his left hand. This potion was a special concoction made from the bodily fluids of a succubus. When consumed, it would immediately increase the target's favor towards the user, making them obedient to eat every command. After explaining this, Wu Chen forcefully poured the potion into Lisha's mouth, pinching her chin to make her swallow it. However, Wu Chen soon realized that something was wrong. Lisha's favor towards him had only increased by a little, despite the potion's potential to raise it up to 100 points. Lisha then suddenly lifted her head, scoffing at Wu Chen and saying, How dare a lowly succubus like you compare yourself to me? I advise you to release me now while you still can. The next scene shocked Lisha. Wu Chen stumbled and spilled a bunch of potion bottles, muttering to himself that he was lucky to have prepared 99 of them beforehand. The camera then panned to a pile of potion bottles scattered on the floor, while the Lisha sat panting and unable to move. Then, with loving eyes, she looked at the hero. She still wanted that liquid from earlier. After speaking, she headed straight for Wu Chen. Wu Chen reluctantly told the witch that the red liquid had run out, but she could drink as much of the white liquid as she wanted in the future. Seeing that the goal had been achieved, Wu Chen quickly took out a large diamond ring from his pocket and said, You'll be my wife from now on. Wu Chen gave Lisha a secret medicine made from succubus bodily fluids to drink, which would stimulate the witch's primal desires. After giving Lisha 99 bottles of the secret medicine, she was panting and feeling feverish. Wu Chen knew that the opportunity had come and immediately pounced on Lisha. Seeing the witch resist, but her body respond truthfully made Wu Chen even more excited. He reached out and put his salty pig hand on Lisha's black stockings clad legs, which immediately made Lisha blush. Although she was 2,000 years old, she was still only in her early 20s as a human. She was still an inexperienced young girl, and seeing this tempting scene in front of her made Wu Chen even more excited. Wu Chen even took out the collar he had prepared beforehand and said, After you put on this collar, I will be your master. You must obey me no matter what. As Wu Chen approached, Lisha felt her heart beating faster and faster, a feeling she had never experienced in her 2,000 years years, and the strong medicine continued to take effect. Lisha opened her small mouth, ready to welcome the hero's arrival. However, just then, a cowgirl suddenly burst in. Madam Witch, your milk bath is ready. The two of them immediately stopped their actions. As it turned out, Wu Chen was Lisha's personal manservant in order to capture other witches. If such a dominant and submissive act were seen, other witches would definitely become suspicious. Wu Chen took advantage of the situation and explained to the cowgirl that he was warming the witch's bed, and that the witch was too tired to use the milk bath today. Looking at Lisha's expression, of enduring. The cowgirl knew that she had done something bad to the witch. She hurriedly left the room, and Lisha instantly sealed the room with a spell. Master, no one will enter this room anymore. We can continue what we were doing, Lisha said. This woman was the strongest queen of the elf tribe, but now she was bound by tentacles and couldn't resist their violation. It was all because she had been punished by Wu Chen, the strongest hero in the world. Earlier that morning, Sylvie was taking a bath when she found a man with a nosebleed next to her. As someone who had never been interested in men, Sylvie asked her which sister why a man was in their bath. However, Lisha lazily stretched and said that he was her male pet who always followed her around. It turned out that since Wu Chen had subdued the witch, he had disguised himself as her servant and was planning to subdue other witches. Sylvie felt repulsed by this man who appeared out of nowhere, and his eyes reminded her of her ex-boyfriend. She turned to Wu Chen and said that becoming a witch's male pet was not that simple and that he had to pass her test. With a low whisper from the elf, Sylvie used a secret technique exclusive to the elves. A large group of tentacle monsters appeared behind Wu Chen, ready to eat him. However, Wu Chen waved his hands underwater, and a ring appeared out of nowhere. Then he pretended to look at the tentacled monster that had suddenly stopped behind him and wondered why they weren't moving. The abnormality of the tentacle monsters also caught the attention of Sylvie and Lisha. This was the most potent technique of the elf tribe. How could it suddenly fail? However, at that moment, the tentacle monsters suddenly swung their tentacles and bound the elf queen from head to toe. They then floated in front of Wu Chen, who was laughing to himself. How dare you test me? Wu Chen said, still chuckling. Let me give you a taste of what testing feels like he said, as the tentacles slithered towards the elven queen. Though usually calm as water, the queen was visibly flustered. You're joking, she protested. I'm still a virgin, after all. Yet, under Wu Chen's control, the tentacle monster extended its long tongue and licked Sylvie. The other tentacles were just as mischievous, scratching at Sylvie's small feet. After a series of attacks, Sylvie begged for mercy, pleading with her controller to release her. Finally, Lisha intervened and rescued Sylvie with a single blow, leaving the embarrassed elf to glance over at Wu Chen. There were no other people around, only 
only the three of them. Originally, a millennium ago, she was the great queen of the elven race and also the goddess worshipped by the elves. She had a kind heart and an incredibly pure love. At that time, she also attracted a large number of suitors. The goddess demanded that her partner must be a true warrior and complete three tasks to qualify to be with her. The last day's silver, the endless river's cold iron, and the holy crystal rainbow dragon leather, each requiring 9,999 pieces. Hearing such demands, the suitors were discouraged and turned away. Wu Chen appeared as Dawn Star and walked up with a cold snort. I have already collected the materials. Can the goddess promise my request as agreed before? I hope you can use the Sunlu of Feitsui Jade to make a pair of wedding rings for me. Sylvie blushed and scolded. You're so unreasonable. The Sunlu of Feitsui Jade is our tribe's treasure, and it is also a symbol used by the gods to contract marriages. As a god's envoy, do you want to enter into a marriage contract with the goddess? Wu Chen walked up slowly and said, I have fallen in love with a woman who is hard to reach, but I can't help it because I have already fallen in love with her. Her noble posture and beautiful eyes are irresistible to me. In order to realize this love, I have traveled a long way and endured numerous difficulties to complete your commission. Please grant my request and fulfill my sincere love. I will use my life to guard it. Facing Wu Chen's sincere confession as the ancestor of the Wu family, Sylvie's goodwill for him instantly soared. The onlookers exclaimed in admiration, and as a man, he only hated himself for not being a woman. At that time, Sylvie completely believed his words. Later, he even disregarded many difficulties and dangers and single-handedly infiltrated the den of elf slave traders to rescue his fellow elves. This also made more people in the tribe approve of their marriage. Therefore, Sylvie entrusted her lifelong work as a goddess to make a pair of divine level wedding rings and handed them over to him, hoping that one day Wu Chen could personally put them on her. At least that's what Sylvie thought at the time. On the day of the wedding, the subordinates shouted that the groom had run away. Wu Chen's disappearance with the ring made her heartbroken. She was overwhelmed with sorrow, instantly consumed by hatred, and vowed to make him pay the price. The goddess of the elf race thus fell, and was stripped of her divinity. In order to find that man, she joined the ranks of the witch Lisha. Thinking back, she only blamed herself for being too naive. Now she should assist her highness with all her might, use her intelligence network to track down that man, and then dismember him into pieces. Lisha saw Sylvie. She came just in time. Take a look at what's wrong with this guy. He's been like this since he was hit by the gold coin. Wu Chen groaned and moaned, dizzy and needed Lisha's kiss to feel better. Sylvie instantly understood. He was just faking it. My attacks had no effect on him. How could he be knocked out by a mere gold coin? Stop pretending. If you don't get up, I'll summon a goblin to kiss you. Wu Chen suddenly stood up with a sound of awe. I'm much better now. I don't need to trouble goblin, he said. Darn it. It's all Sylvie's fault that Lisha's plan failed. He continued. Lisha coughed twice and said, your body is fine now, so stop sticking to me. I'm going to the witch tea party now, but I'm very busy, she added. The witch tea party is a meeting where witches make important decisions that affect the entire magical world. Wu Chen had an idea and said, this is a great opportunity to gather information from around the world. Take me with you. But Sylvie blocked his way, and Wu Chen was not happy about it. I am a messenger of the goddess. Why can't I go? He complained. Lisha did not want him to go either, as other witches knowing about him would cause trouble and increase competition. Wu Chen felt his heart flutter and said, is this love? Then let's get married now and have children. Sylvie was so angry that she wanted to pull out his tongue every time she heard him say something cheesy. Lisha pushed him away and said, I don't have time to play around with you. Sylvie, take care of him for me. Wu Chen was scared to be left alone with Sylvie, so he held Lisha's hand and said, don't worry, my dear. I'll go with you. I don't care about other witches because my love for you is eternal. I'll protect this love with my life. Sylvie was stunned in place. These familiar words, Dawn Star had said the same thing to her before. This familiar feeling, could it really be him? Tears couldn't stop streaming down her face in an instant. Lisha asked, what's wrong with you? You don't have to cry even if you don't want to take care of this guy. Did you remember that scumbag Dawn Star again? I have to hurry and set off. Can you take care of this guy for me? Whispered Lisha. No matter what method you use, keep an eye on him and don't let him step out of the room. Sylvie replied, yes, your highness. Leave it to me. I won't fail the mission. Planning in her heart, it's necessary to test this man again. I will make sure he has an unforgettable day, and won't miss any clues about Dawn Star. Wu Chen felt guilty and nervous. I'm done for. Can't escape. Being alone with Sylvie always feels like I'm in trouble. I have to figure out a way. Sylvie slowly walked towards him. Now it's just the two of us left. I have a lot of things I want to ask you. She snapped her whip on the ground. I'll warn you beforehand. I'm not like Lady Lisha. I know scumbags like you very well. Don't have any evil intentions. Gender. Age. Name. Wu Chen stuttered. Name. The second. Wu, male, 17 years old. Sylvie chuckled. The second Wu, right? I warned you before. Think carefully before you answer my question. Yet here you are still spouting nonsense. Looks like you won't behave unless you taste some bitterness. The male protagonist and the beautiful woman alone in a room. But he's extremely afraid. Oh no, he can't escape now. He must figure out a way. Sylvie slowly walked forward. Finally, it's just the two of us left. I have a lot of things I want to ask you. Then, she cracked her whip on the ground. Wu Chen was so scared that he broke out in a cold sweat. He had a feeling that he couldn't fool Sylvie. In that case, Wu Chen directly took out the god tear companion summoning ring.
ring. The user can summon or teleport to their companion's side. If the user has multiple companions, one will be randomly selected for teleportation. Although they can't share attributes, the inherent skills on each ring can still be used. He quietly activated the skill behind his back. After the skill was launched, he teleported away. Sylvie was surprised. Did he really escape? There must be a problem. If he wasn't hiding anything, why would he run away so hastily? Suddenly, the system reminded him that the teleportation was complete. He had been teleported to Sylvie's side. Thank you for using our services. Wu Chen cursed. Are you kidding me, system? He frantically tried to use the teleportation skill again, but the system reminded him that it was on cooldown. He would have to wait and try again later. As he turned around, he found himself still in the same spot. He fell from the sky and landed on Sylvie's slime. Sylvie grabbed his head directly. You stinky bug. You even dare to harass me. It seems like you're prepared to die. Wu Chen screamed in pain, then followed by an indescribable scene. Okay, the training is over. Let's get to the point. Lisha may not be back for a while, so just tell me the truth. We've known each other for a long time. Don't pretend. Don Star Wu Chen. Wu Chen felt guilty. Who is Wu Chen? I don't know him. You might have mistaken me for someone else. That's a cool name, though. It must belong to a tall and handsome man. Sylvie snorted. Is that so? You still won't admit it even after I've said this much. I wanted to give you a chance to admit your mistake and explain, but I never thought you had such thick skin. There's no point in having any illusions about you anymore. Die. Wu Chen. She opened her own god realm space directly. When Wu Chen opened his eyes again, he found himself in a devastated room. He couldn't help but break out in a cold sweat. This is Sylvie's remaining god realm space, where no one can enter except for the witch and that man. Who is him? Wu Chen. He was the only man who was allowed to enter the realm of gods by her. At this point, he had no more excuses. You can come in, which already proves everything, Sylvie said. Wu Chen tried to explain that he had reasons for his actions, but Sylvie wouldn't listen. What kind of reasons could make you abandon your fiancé and disappear without a word for a thousand years? Answer me, Wu Chen. As she was about to get closer to Wu Chen, she was directly bounced back by a powerful energy. Machem, the Jade Ring of Elf King Honey, you are indeed still carrying it with you. You have finally revealed your true nature. Now let's see how you can still try to argue your way out of this. Wu Chen slowly takes off the ring. I'm sorry. I know my actions have caused you great harm, but I really had no other choice. If my death can make you feel better, then I am willing to use my life to apologize to you. I have caused you so much pain all these years. Sylvie will never believe in the same lies again. Do you think I won't dare to kill you? How could you understand the suffering I have endured? Until now, I still remember the time we spent together. The next moment, the weapon in her hand pierces through Wu Chen's body. Wu Chen weakly says, I'm sorry. I love you. And then he falls to the ground. Sylvie is now in tears. Why do you have to say these things to me now? All these millennia, I have longed for revenge. But have I been wrong to accuse you? She cries and screams in agony. In the end, she cannot let go of her past feelings and anxiously tries to save Wu Chen. Wu Chen, wake up. Don't die. Wu Chen coughs up a pool of blood. Why did you save me? He is relieved that she didn't kill him. It seems like he made the right bet. The next moment, she slaps him in the face. You fool. Why didn't you dodge? It's too easy for you to die like this. But you did show courage just now. I'll give you some credit. I'll listen to your explanation. But if it doesn't satisfy me, I'll kill you. Wu Chen broke out in a cold sweat. I was ready to sacrifice myself. But now you want an explanation. The damn system didn't even tell me what would happen if I failed the mission and died. What if Sylvie isn't satisfied? I'll be finished. No, I need to buff up. Wu Chen immediately activated his secret technique. I can't tell you the truth right now, even though it's absolutely confidential. But in order to relieve the confusion of my beloved, even if I become a criminal for all eternity, I'm willing to do it. What I'm about to tell you concerns all of humanity and the future of this world. You can't tell anyone about this. The reason I left you back then was because I followed the will of the creator goddess. She ordered me to infiltrate the witches and find a way to defeat them. Although we were already married at that time, I had to leave you in order to complete my mission. As the lord of the Dawnstar City, I had no choice. I want to tell you the truth, but the fewer people who know about this, the better. Currently, I have successfully gained Lish's trust as a follower of the evil god. I told her that she could obtain the power of the evil god by marrying me. I'm sorry for what I'm doing to you. After the mission is over, you can do whatever you want with me. Sylvie looked sad and asked, Do you really want to marry Lisha? Wu Chen continued, I swear my love for you is genuine. After the mission is over, come with me and we can escape to the ends of the earth and live a life that belongs only to us. Sylvie slowly approached him and leaned in, blushing as she said, I look forward to that day. Suddenly, an energy attack came towards them. Sylvie dodged it by leaning to one side, but it hit Wu Chen, who looked worried and anxious. Wu Chen, are you okay? She shouted, I'll fighting with you. Suddenly, Lisha sneered and said, So your name is Wu Chen. You're that scumbag. What were you guys doing just now? I saw you hugging each other. Do you want to compete with me for the power of the mother goddess? Wu Chen slowly stood up and said, You misunderstood. I was just helping Sylvie get rid of the stones in her eyes. By the way, can you not use the light beam to shoot at me next time? My clothes are torn again. Lisha looked confused and said, So you were blowing the stones out of her eyes. The three of them were embarrassed and didn't know what to say. Suddenly, Lisha looked happy and said, Oh, I see. You really have a way to do things. Locking Wu Chen in the divine domain space. We won't have to worry about anyone intruding. Well done. Let's restore everything.
everything. Sylvie clapped her hands, and a divine domain space was released. The next moment, a burst of green light restored everything to its original state. Lisha scolded Wu Chen. If you want to marry me, you should avoid contact with other women. Suddenly, a few voices came from the teleportation gate. Lisha, who are you getting married to? Don't make me wait outside. I'm coming in. A head slowly emerged from the gate, but Lisha pushed it back and said, My room is a bit messy. You go back first, and I'll call you in later. Wu Chen broke out in a cold sweat. Was that the voice of full moon demonist Xiaoyu Yuilin? The teleportation gate rang with a buzzing knocking sound. Lisha hurriedly told Wu Chen, You've been in my palace for several days. Let Sylvie accompany you for a walk outside. She then threw him to another area and commanded Sylvie, You also go and protect him. Don't come back without my notice. You can go anywhere as long as you don't return to the palace. Sylvie obeyed happily, giving the two a chance to be alone. Meanwhile, in another lightning-filled valley, the sky suddenly twisted, and the next moment, Wu Chen was teleported from the sky and fell heavily to the ground with a loud noise. He cursed. Why does the teleportation gate open vertically? Fortunately, I didn't fall face down. Otherwise, I would be disfigured. Sylvie followed closely behind and stepped on something, causing an egg to break. She hurriedly asked, Are you okay? They were now in the spatial array of full moon demoness, where every place covered by a light column was a human conquest zone. Since the creation goddess fell into a deep sleep, the demonesses have been unconstrained, fighting and seizing territory everywhere. Faced with such powerful creatures, humans did not even have the courage to resist. Wu Chen looked worried and asked, How is my territory? I have to go check it out. Sylvie expressed her regret, saying, Unfortunately, your territory was not spared. The city of Dawnstar has fallen, and all the people in the villages, towns, and even the capital city are imprisoned within this pillar of light. The humans inside have been imprisoned for thousands of years, and have probably lost hope of surviving. Wu Chen recalled his former territory in the game, which he had imagined to exist in reality. His memories of the vibrant lives of his reliable companions and the library scholars who opposed the aristocracy's monopoly were still vivid. They are probably no longer alive, he thought. Sylvie expressed her concern for Wu Chen, asking, Are you okay? Wu Chen composed himself and replied, I'm fine. I've seen worse. We just need to take back our territory. Let's go to Dawn Star City in the Lisha Palace's hot spring bath. Wu Chen suggested, In the bath, Xia Yuilin was enjoying herself. She asked, I heard you hired a special ability cow maid. Can she increase breast size? Lisha dismissed the idea, saying, You'll probably never see any results, no matter how many times you wash them. The full moon demoness gave the cow maid a new nickname, Kosua Demoness. Lisha was resigned, saying, I'll call Danny over to make you give up on this idea completely. Remember to leave quickly after you finish washing. I'm very busy. The full moon demoness was happy that Lisha had hidden the apostle. All they had to do now was wait for Danny to collect intelligence. Where will my future husband be hiding? She wondered. As they headed to Dawnstar City, Wu Chen sneezed. Sylvie asked, Are you catching a cold? Put your clothes on. The city is within this barrier. Just touch it, and it will make a sizzling sound. As you can see, the concentration of the barrier is too high for us to pass through. Wu Chen smirked. It's nothing. Next, I'll show you a big treasure. He took out the legendary equipment, Certificate of the Lands, which he obtained by using his usual scumbag tactics, and increasing the favorability level of the land immortal to a flirtatious degree. Wu Chen held the Certificate of the Lands up to the isolation barrier, and it emitted a dazzling light. The barrier was disappearing at a visible speed. Wu Chen looked proud and yelled, The Emperor of Dawnstar City is back. But the next moment, he was stunned. A huge full moon demoness statue caught his eye. Wow, the magic I created back then is so widely used now. What the heck is this statue anyway? Wait, where did my own statue go? The full moon demoness isn't that big, is it? How narcissistic. Wu Chen looked confused and asked, Is this really Dawnstar City in the occupied area? Are we lost? Sylvie was sure they were in the occupied area. You'll find out soon enough. But then they heard a scream. There's a pervert here. Quick, catch the pervert. Guards, catch him. Three people rushed over. You humans, don't move from there. How dare you behave like this in broad daylight? You entered without permission. Please come with us. Sylvie stepped forward and said, Wu Chen, step back. He's my fiancé. Do I need to prove it? The next moment, the three people were terrified, stuttering that she was a demon and fell to the ground in a panic. No need to prove it, my lady. You, the great demon, are the shining proof. The three people surrounded Sylvie and fawned over her. Wu Chen looked speechless. Humans and demons are blood enemies. Even if your situation is bad, there's no need to be so shameless. Sylvie scolded them. So annoying. Just go away. The three of them stood in a row and obediently said, We will leave now. Wu Chen began to understand what the so-called occupied zone was all about. It was the occupation of the human heart. With a snap of his fingers, Wu Chen transformed his clothes. Sylvie was impressed by this ability. Wu Chen took Sylvie's hand and said, I will take you to a good place. Sylvie blushed and said, No matter where you take me, I will follow you. Meanwhile, Full Moon Demoness was enjoying the happiness of the otaku drink. Suddenly, her phone rang with a lively ringtone. It was Danny reporting that he had used tracking magic on the Apostle of the Mother Goddess and had locked onto his location. He sent a picture to her, showing that the Apostle was currently in Dawnstar City. Full Moon Demoness was delighted. I'm so lucky. My future husband is so mischievous. My love, you must have suffered a lot in Lisha. Don't worry, I will come and get you soon.
soon. At that moment, Wu Chin was peeing in the bathroom. Full Moon Demoness snuck up on him from behind and hugged him. This was too exciting. Can you imagine how big Wu Chen's psychological shadow would be? Meanwhile, Sylvie was waiting for Wu Chen. Suddenly, a skull appeared in front of her. Where's Wu Chen? Full Moon Demoness has run away from me. She has already found Wu Chen. You're no match for Full Moon Demoness. Now, wait for my next order. I will personally go and meet this person. At this moment, the Full Moon Demoness sweetly cried out darling, and Wu Chen felt like spring had come for him. He suddenly noticed that Nishitomi's demon eye had appeared here, and Sylvie's voice could be heard again. This is the telepathic communication that we have established between us. Don't let anyone find out, she said. I have learned a lot of new things from the data. Full Moon Demoness continued to flirt with Wu Chen. You can do anything you want with me in the future. I can be cute, wild, or sweet. I can do anything you like, so why don't you marry me? I can satisfy any of your desires, and if that's not enough, there are many beautiful demon women in my palace, she said. Lisha coldly snorted. She's obviously here for the power of the goddess. She even wants to marry Wu Chen, but this cute demoness is hard to resist. I refuse, Wu Chen said. I already have someone I like. Both Lisha and Sylvie blushed, thinking Wu Chen was talking about them. Full Moon Demoness just felt strange. As a beautiful girl like me being so proactive, you should be doing something, shouldn't you? She said. Maybe my data is wrong. Since you're not following the script, I'll have to use unconventional methods. My bottle is a bit big, so bear with me, she said. Wu Chen broke out in a cold sweat. The plot was all too familiar. Wasn't this the same potion he had given Lisha before? It's truly a small world. He hurriedly shouted. Wait a minute. If you like me that much, then feed me with your mouth. Full Moon Demoness blushed with embarrassment. All right, darling. I can be however you want me to be. Sylvie saw the scene and felt a surge of jealousy, almost losing control. Full Moon Demoness swallowed the love potion directly into her mouth. Come on, darling. Wu Chen quickly covered her mouth with his hand. Leave it for yourself to drink. Full Moon Demoness stumbled and knelt down on the ground. I didn't expect you to be so rough, darling, but I really like it. Wu Chen directly exposed her. Stop pretending. As a demoness like you, drinking 99 bottles of love potion only has a little effect. Full Moon Demoness felt bored. Since that's the case, I won't pretend anymore. I really don't understand why I've tried to seduce you repeatedly, but you remained indifferent. If you experienced it, you would know that I'm different from some brat. Don't you think so, Lisha? Lisha, who was secretly watching the live broadcast through the evil eye, was eventually discovered. A teleportation portal flooded with black bats appeared directly in front of the two of them. Lisha appeared like the Grim Reaper. You dare to seduce my person, Full Moon Demoness? You have a lot of nerve. How did you find out about Wu Chen's identity and location? Do other demoness know about Wu Chen's situation too? Full Moon Demoness questioned Lisha. How did he become your person? Did you get married or something? Lisha quickly refuted. We're not married. Full Moon Demoness continued to ask. Are you the girlfriend of the apostle, my pursuit target? Lisha explained that she was not. None of those things are true. Full Moon Demoness pulled Wu Chen close. If you're not married or in a relationship and I pursue the apostle, what's wrong with that? He belongs to everyone, not just you. Lisha snorted coldly. Monopoly is also a means of competition. It doesn't matter who comes. It's all the same. I won't give it to you, Wu Chen. This sudden scramble made Wu Chen a hot commodity in an instant. The divine power of the goddess belongs to me. Full Moon Demoness cursed loudly. You crazy woman. You're actually serious. Come on. Let's hurt each other. At that moment, the two of them walked straight to the end of their friendship. Wu Chen sensed something was wrong in an instant. This is bad. If these two demoness fight, my Dawn Star City will be turned upside down. How can I rebuild it? Just as they were about to clash, Wu Chen shouted, Stop it. Both of you. What are you doing? For the sake of fighting over the divine power of the goddess, you want to kill each other here. It's really shameless. You think you can inherit the divine power just by relying on your strength? You are all children of the goddess. If she knew that you were fighting for the divine power, she would be very sad. You know that? As the messenger of the goddess, I bear the responsibility of selecting the heir and judging your potential to see if you have the qualifications to inherit the divine power. However, your immature behavior just now has disappointed me greatly. Full Moon Demoness believed her words and asked anxiously, Your Excellency Apostle, please examine me carefully inside and out. But how can I pass your examination and become a qualified heir? Wu Chen said calmly, Don't worry, I will examine you very carefully, but I can't tell you anything else, because that's also part of the examination. Wu Chen spoke to Lisha again, saying, I have a mission to fulfill. Now that we don't have a marriage contract, I must fulfill my obligation to investigate the potential of other demoness. But don't worry, my feelings for you will never change. As long as you're willing, we can get married anytime. Before he could finish speaking, Full Moon Demoness dragged him away. Now let's go back to my palace and start the examination. I have a lot of auxiliary tools that can make the whole process enjoyable, Wu Chen said. Lisha slapped her hand on Full Moon Demoness's head and said, Who gave you permission to do an examination in your palace? If you want to examine someone, come to my palace and I will examine you too. The three of them then went to Lisha's palace and reached the bedroom on the top floor. Wu Chen suggested they all sleep together. Full Moon Demoness agreed, but the next moment, she kicked Wu Chen out of the room and Lisha told her that she would be closely monitored and couldn't leave the room. The Full Moon Demoness actually had a look of anticipation on her face. Wu Chen walked outside with a disappointed expression. 
In the end, it became two demonists living together, watching each other, while he was left alone in an empty room. It's a pity. As soon as he pushed open the door, Sylvie was already waiting for him for a long time. Under the heavens, the only man who could make two demonists jealous of each other and fight over him was probably only him. But it's great to see that you're safe and sound. It's amazing that you could walk out alive from two jealous demonists. Wu Chin was proud of himself. Who made him so charming? Besides, I don't like demonists anyway. Sylvie looked disappointed. I have fallen and lost my divinity now, strictly speaking. I'm also a demoness. Wu Chin interrupted directly. Don't say that. In my eyes, you have always been the elf goddess I know. As soon as he said this, Sylvie instantly melted. Sylvie smirked. Mph, how about it? Lisha is monitoring the full moon demoness tonight, so we can have plenty of time to do many things. As she was about to take the next step, she suddenly heard a voice. Sylvie, how's your side doing tonight? I want you to keep an eye on Wu Chen and not let anyone get close to him. Sylvie replied obediently and promised to follow orders. While Wu Chen was quietly stretching out his hands towards Sylvie who was pinned under him, Sylvie screamed. Lisha asked urgently what had happened and Sylvie explained with a red face that it was nothing and she just accidentally fell. Lisha looked serious and warned her to be careful. After all, she has the strength of a demon king and she also reminded her to be wary because although she was keeping an eye on Xia Yuilin's side, she didn't know what he might do. She entrusted Wu Chen's side to Sylvie. Full moon demoness shouted for Lisha to come and play together. Sylvie resisted Wu Chen's harassment tenaciously. She hung up the phone with moans and groans, pushed Wu Chen away, and asked if he had enough. She didn't know if elves had sensitive ears or not, but suddenly there was a knocking sound at the door. Darling, are you inside? I know you haven't slept yet. You said you wanted to test me, so here I am. Sylvie looked surprised and was about to tell Lisha, but Wu Chen interrupted her and asked her not to notify Lisha. You leave first and let me see what full moon demoness wants to do. Trust me, everything is fine, he said, reassuring Sylvie. The door was open directly and full moon demoness entered, exclaiming how beautiful the butterfly was. Wu Chen was nervous and tried to divert the attention. Don't worry about these details. Aren't you with Lisha? He asked. Full moon demoness chuckled and said it was just a little trick. With a snap of her fingers, she created countless illusions with subjective mobility, which dazzled Wu Chen's eyes. Full moon demoness was very proud and asked Wu Chen if he was surprised. These are all my clones, she said. Lisha is currently playing with my other clone. It's quite strange. How could the apostle sent by the mother goddess know these characters? They are all from a different world called Earth. Since you know them, it means you are not even from this world. As far as I know, people from Earth are all part of the Mother Goddess camp. In other words, you are not an apostle of the Mother Goddess, but rather an apostle of the God. Upon hearing this, Wu Chen was shocked. Oh no, I might be exposed, he thought. Thinking quickly, he made up a bunch of nonsense and said, I know these characters because I have been to another world. The Mother Goddess power can open the door to other worlds. I went to another world with the Mother Goddess herself. Unlike you, who have never left this world, how could you know about other worlds? I think you are just a lackey sent by the Mother Goddess. Full Moon Demoness was furious at Wu Chen's accusations and immediately pulled out her weapon and aimed it at him. But before she could attack, Wu Chen easily deflected her attack with a wave of his hand. Do you really think that an apostle of the god would have my level of power? He said, but it seems that your weapon is from another world. Where did you get it from? Full Moon Demoness was stunned for a moment, but quickly regained her composure and explained that the weapon was given to her by the apostles of the god as a gift. They liked her and wanted to be friends with her, so they gave her many things from other worlds, including the characters that they were currently playing with. Wu Chen had taken back control of the situation and asked Full Moon Demoness if she had ever had contact with the Apostles of the God. She denied being a traitor and said that she simply liked the culture of the so-called 2D world and had never betrayed the Mother Goddess. Wu Chen continued to ask, Do you like Earth? Full Moon Demoness replied straightforwardly that she likes it because there is Wi-Fi, new anime, the latest games, and the great YouTuber manga explained. It's like a paradise in her dreams, and there are many powerful people there that she wants to meet. She especially loves a monster called Godzilla, who is not only powerful but also handsome. He engages in intense battles to protect the Earth and humanity, and even sacrifices his own life. Wu Chen pointed out that the Earth is not as good as she imagines because there are wars happening in some places all the time. Full Moon Demoness also knows this, and her plan is to take control of the Earth, just like in Dawn Star City. As Wu Chen guessed, her goal is to invade Earth after obtaining the divine power. She desires to go to Earth more than any other demoness. She believes that there must be a way to get there since the Creator Goddess allowed her to come to this world. If the demoness work together to find this method, they could occupy Earth, which is terrifying to imagine. As Full Moon Demoness was about to drink water from her gourd, Wu Chen was attracted to what was inside. She then took out a bottle of ice-cold Coca-Cola, which surprised Wu Chen because he did not expect to find something from his home world in this parallel universe. He then drank it eagerly. Full Moon Demoness then approached him and asked if he felt anything, such as a fever, dry mouth, or a desire to fight her. Wu Chen was overwhelmed by her behavior and begged her to stop torturing him. He asked what she really wanted. Full Moon Moon Demoness was proud. Darling, you know what I want, don't you? I want you to marry me and give me divine power. After that, you can do 
whatever you want. What Lisha can give you? I can give you tenfold. My clone is a real existence. Wu Chen didn't expect her to be so greedy. We've reached this point in the performance. It's time to fulfill my mission. She handed the wedding ring directly to Full Moon Demoness. Full Moon Demoness snorted coldly. If you had brought it out earlier, you wouldn't have suffered this punishment. How does it feel to have your body filled with blood? You can't hold back anymore. Can you? Slowly put the ring on your own hand. Finally, the day has come. The day I become a god. As she laughed out loud, Wu Chen secretly put on another ring. A blinding white light appeared directly in front of the two of them. A voice came. Full Moon Demoness Xiaoyuilin. Will you be together forever, whether rich or poor, healthy or disabled? Full Moon Demoness agreed anxiously. I do. Hurry up. I'm in a hurry. Your marriage is now official. Be happy together. Full Moon Demoness slowly opened her eyes. She had finally become the new god. Awesome. Hello, my little friends on Earth. I have arrived. She raised her hand to open the portal to the other world. Open the portal to the other world for me. But there was no change. So she tried different spells to open it. Open Sesame. Thunderbolt. Gabba. She tried them all. But there was no response. Wu Chen is like a bystander. Watching her silly performance. Have you played enough, my wife? She asks as the full moon demoness roars in frustration. Why can't I open the portal to the other realm as a goddess? She wonders. Wu Chen looks relaxed and says. The power of the mother goddess. And all that is fake. It doesn't exist. I only tricked you into marrying me. Hearing this. The full moon demoness feels like she's been struck by lightning. Memories come flooding back. And she remembers that Wu Chen is actually Dawn Star. The scariest apostle of the gods in history. Wu Chen looks confused. Because the memories of the demoness were supposed to have been erased by the creator goddess. He wonders if the demoness's memories will be restored once they get married. A thousand years ago. Humans tried everything to conquer the full moon demoness. By showering her with gifts. Flattery. And building up her favorability. However. The demoness was already at the level of a queen of the sea. And accepted all the gifts. While secretly thinking that these people were too easy to fool. Using illusions. She made it seem like she had developed feelings for them. And many people came to give her gifts. Suddenly. There was a loud bang. And someone burst into the room. The demoness's admirers cursed at the intruder for disturbing their honeymoon with the full moon demoness. They vowed to defend their angel. The full moon demoness. When the smoke cleared. Lisha slowly walked out of the smoke. And the admirers of the demoness were unable to resist her charm. Feeling embarrassed. The full moon demoness asked Lisha what she was doing. Lisha raised her hand. And used a soul chain on her. And before she could react. The full moon demoness was under her control. The admirers looked worried. And wanted to go up and rescue. When a voice came through. You've all been tricked by full moon demoness's illusion. Demoness cannot be conquered by normal means. The so-called affection is only an illusion created by her power. Several people felt that this made sense. No wonder there was no progress after their affection level increased. Wait, what are the people who have conquered the desire Demoness doing here? What do you want to do? Don't even think about taking full moon Demoness from us. Even if we were deceived, we still love her. Lisha raised her hand and used the Deus Ex Machina beam to wipe them all out. Full moon Demoness's mask of pain appeared. All my fans are gone. Lisha, have you gone crazy? Why are you helping the Apostle of God against me? Lisha slowly raised her head and her expression changed from aloofness to obsession. Whatever my dear asks me to do, I will do it. Full Moon Demoness cursed. What have you done to her? Wu Chen couldn't be bothered to talk to him anymore. Because next, you will be the same as her and face the punishment of justice. Full Moon Demoness looked terrified. It's the love goddess's secret medicine. With the memory of terror, Full Moon Demoness remembered everything. No, I don't want to marry you. I will expose your identity to the public and then all Demoness will come after you. But this didn't scare Wu Chen. You were the one who begged me to marry you just now. You can't change your mind now. Now that we are married, our lives are shared. In other words, once I die, you won't survive either. Full Moon Demoness gritted her teeth in anger. You despicable guy. I'm going to kill you. She picked up her weapon and swung it at Wu Chen. But in the next moment, Wu Chen effortlessly blocked the attack. Don't resist. As long as the marriage contract is still in place, you can't hurt me. I have complete control over your abilities. Like this. The moon was reflected in the water. A philosophical realm. Feel the charm of philosophy. Full Moon Demoness was instantly stunned and then let out a piercing scream. I can't take it anymore. What are you going to do? Don't come over here. 